Hi guys, Samsung finally updated the good luck for Android Pie or its One UI. After the update to One UI, one thing I really miss is this. So what is good luck? Samsung came out with this app in 2017. It allows you to modify Samsung's own interface, starting with the lock screen. Then they updated in 2018, calling it Good Lock 2018, with added features such as the drop-down panel called Quick Start, and the recent menu simply called Task Changer. And now they finally updated for 2019 for the Android 9 Pie or One UI. Now I have the Galaxy S9, and for some reason I couldn't see the Task Changer. If you're experiencing the same, you can simply go to apkmirror.com and search for Task Changer. I'll provide the link in the description below. Download and install the version 2 and up. After you install, it will show up in the Good Luck main menu. From here, you can see the Galaxy app icon and it will update directly from the store from here in. There's already a lot of videos out there covering this app in detail, so to keep the video short, I'll show you what and how I use, what's new, and some of my favorites. The one that started all, it's the Lock Star. It allows you to customize the lock screen as you like. You can even freely move the items anywhere on the screen. You can choose what you want to display such as the lock icon. But the main reason I use this is to have the music control right on the bottom of the lock screen for quick access when playing a music. It disappears when no music is playing to keep it nice and clean. But there's nothing new here. Quickstar allows you to customize the drop down panel. You can choose one of the preset color, such as the blue one here. As you can see, it's nice and bold color. And you can create one of your own, starting with selecting a color theme. And voila, new theme based on your chosen color. But you can still have the flexibility of changing the individual colors. You can change the transparency level of the panel and if you want to blur the background and by how much. Icon visibility is to keep your status bar nice and uncluttered. You can show or hide icon such as the NFC or the battery icon. As you can see there's no battery icon here but when you drop down the panel you can see the percentage. So it's nice not to keep on watching your battery drain time to time. The clock position is new. Before the Android Pie update, the clock is on the right side. So you can return it back there if you wish to keep it more familiar. Or leave it on the left. I have a problem with that since I use the weather notification to keep me informed of the current temperature. Having them on the same side with too many numbers is hard to separate. So I chose to have it in the middle instead. Warning though, there might be overlap icons. And it happened to me this morning and I couldn't see the time. Well, I just had to tend to my notification and dismiss some. You can prevent overlapping by limiting the number of notification icons on the status bar in the settings. Up to three if I'm correct. So next is the task changer. And this is the one I really missed. You can change the layout of the recent app list and now there are more options uh, to choose from. This is what the current recent app list looks like. You cannot actually interact with the app except for selecting them. And scrolling through is quite painfully slow as you can only do one card at a time. And now let me turn the task changer on. Let's choose from a carousel and a linear effect. As you can see, it's close to the default one and I can go through the apps much faster. So let's take a look at another layout such as the list. Now user of old Android all the way back to 4.0 ice cream sandwich will remember this layout. Now let's try the grid. This one reminds me more of the Blackberry. OS 10, I think what it's called, but looks much nicer. As you can see more in one view, you don't need to scroll as much. Remember in the default one UI, I cannot interact with the recent app card. Now I can tap and hold 
drag to the designated area for multi-view. This is just makes multitasking that much simpler and faster. You can do this with other layout as well. And finally, the stack. This one reminds me of Android Olipop, except it's horizontal instead of vertical. You can see more app in the view versus the carousel. For one-handed use, some layout allows you to set mini mode. The app icon is now within reach of your thumb, and you can tap to select the action. Going back to the main menu, Routines. This one stays the same, I don't think they added any feature. Let me know down below in the comment section if I miss anything. There's the clock face, uh, you can basically change the clock face for the always on display or the lock screen. And there are a lot more options to choose from over the default list. Next is Multistar for multitasking. The new One UI simply have this middle bar just like stock Android. All you can do is resize. But in the previous Samsung experience, you have a dot in the middle that you can tap to show the option. Well, there's still no dot, but you can tap the bar now. You can press the swap button to swap the top and bottom apps. And there's the snap mode, which I think it's specifically designed for video. As you can see, the aspect ratio match the video nicely. And when I tap done, you can see the video portion snaps to the top of the screen and I can do other things at the same time below it. The last one on this list is Navstar for customizing your navigation button. You have a lot of uh, options to choose from. You can also customize it yourself by changing the colors, the alignments, and adding additional buttons as you can see the two top right here. And you can also choose to upload your own picture as an icon. That was a lot and there are still more that I have not covered. Now, I choose Android over iOS for customization. And with Samsung's good luck, you can really have it your way. And at least more option than the competitors. I think Samsung did a great job here. It's hard to go to another Android manufacturer that does not offer the same customization, which includes Google themselves. What do you think? Do you use Samsung's good luck? Or this is the first time you're hearing about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.